Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to get a lot more out of your regular scale practice by simply adding just a little tiny trick to it. And I'll show you a few variations, one that's more on the regular side of technique, speed, coordination and dexterity, one that will focus a bit more on the picking hand and finally of course one for the left hand. You'll need a scale for this and any scale will do, but if you want to follow along let's begin with this very simple C major scale based on a three note per string pattern, it goes like this. <laughs> As always, if you're on my Patreon, you'll be able to download all the tabs and diagrams from this video and you might get a few extra exercises, but you certainly don't need that to follow along. If I were to practice my scale just like that, simply going up and down, it's not that it's bad, I still learn the scale and memorize it and I will probably improve my dexterity and coordination, but by doing this little trick here, we can take it to the next level. And that is very simply, we're going to skip strings. Now you might have heard about string skipping, it's a very deep subject, but today we're gonna keep it very simple. I want you to play the sixth string, and instead of moving to the fifth, we move to the fourth, we skip the fifth string. Then we move back to the fifth, skip the fourth, and play the third. And then fourth and second, third and first, and there you have it. All together it will look something like this. Very simple. We can do the same thing on the way back, of course, by playing the first string, skipping the second, and going straight to the third. And on the way back it will look like this. It's very important that throughout the exercise you keep alternating downstroke and upstroke without interruption. So if I'm playing the sixth string down up down, I will have to start the fourth string on an upstroke and then back to downstroke on the fifth and upstroke on the third. The alternating pick is a very integral part of this exercise. This exercise will benefit you greatly not only in the technique department but also in your melodic and improvisational playing because after all we are what we practice and if all we do is interface with scales in a linear fashion we have a hard time breaking out of that when it comes time for us to improvise and play melodically. You might have noticed in the previous exercise that the simple fact that we're using a three notes per string pattern makes the string skipping quite manageable actually. First of all we're always using the same number of notes per string, so that kind of helps us get into a groove, and also the picking pattern, it's always the same for each pair. There's a rhythm to the picking that again makes it a lot easier. So now let's complicate things a little bit, and I want you to do the same thing now, but with a different pattern, one that is not as predictable, one that mixes the number of notes per string, and it goes something like this. <laughs> see how I'm still sticking to strict alternate picking. That's a very important part again of this technique. And all I do is go through the scale and whenever I run out of notes on a string, I jump to the one, two down, then up, then jump. And if I land on a downstroke, it's a downstroke. And if I land on an upstroke, it will have to be an upstroke. This whole string skipping thing also makes for a great legato workout. And so I want you to go back now to the first fingering, the three notes per string one, and try it with the focus on the left hand. And all we have to do is play the same thing, but only pick the first note of each string. So on the sixth string, we'll pick the eighth fret, followed by two hammer-ons on frets 10 and 12. When I go to the fourth string, it's an upstroke, followed by two hammer-ons. And then I do the same thing with the fifth and third string, fourth and second, uh, third and first, and then work my way back. I'm 
sure some of you will find these exercises quite challenging and that's actually good news because when you find these things that you just can't play that's where you'll get the most benefit in the shortest amount of time so certainly spend some time with these if you want to go deeper with these ideas and these techniques then i must say my books on alternate picking and legato will definitely get you there as always thank you very much for being there and for your support your kindness in the comments and i'll see you in the next one